Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for that magical time. It is time for breakfast stream. Good morning. Hey buddy, you coming up? Come on over. Come on. We know that's what you've been waiting on, Sagan. It's, it's ritual. Hi, buddy. Oh my god, did you fart? <laughs> did you have a little kitty pooter? <laughs> Thanks for gracing me with such a thing this morning. I'm very excited. Thanks, Sagan. See it, see it, see it, see it. See it. Oh, god. Figure out which direction you want your butt to go and then sit. Thank you. Left, no right, no left. No matter what, it has to face me. Otherwise, how are we friends? If I'm, if I'm not allowed to sniff someone's butt, how do they know that I, I like and appreciate them? <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> there he is. Anyway, uh, good morning, everybody. Hope you're, uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing okay, um, all things considered. Um, I will hopefully be doing even better later today. Later, to, not even that much later today. I'm hoping to get, hoping to get some good answers soon, like shortly after breakfast stream, because I have another doctor's appointment. I'll talk about that in a minute. I want, I want to get, I want to uh, very quickly get through um, some of these uh, notifications and. As far as I know, there could be a lot of notifications again today because, you know, maybe someone didn't tune in Tuesday. Twitch did that thing where they reset notifications for the month so yeah. people can basically have their notification come through again. Um, so there could be excess today like also. on Tuesday. Like on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get through these pretty quick. Um, so let's jump, jump into it. We got subscriptions from Jam Meepler. Uh, Blue Oracle, or Argyle Dude, Linguistic Fanatic, Endless Void YT, Harumi Kindle, Butter1484, Baron Von Muffinbeard III, thank you all. Also have five months sub from Old Ramen, Snow Day here in Colorado. Well, that's not too surprising. <laughs> it's Colorado. Uh, three months from Matt's P17, I'm getting deja vu. Anyway, keep up the good, uh, the good work. Again, there's going to be a few that have been repeated, but... That's all right. It's just it's just this month. Twitch is finally doing things that they should have done a long time ago. Thank you, Matsby. Uh, five months for Ember Laura. It crunch time. It, oh shoot! It is crunch time. That antibiotic. Oh god. I, you have a few minutes. It hits you like a ton of bricks, and it hits you so fast. Thank you, Ember Laura. I was like, it crunch time, and I was like, oh god, I'll die. I was so sick the other day, though. Can't be. I know you are. I'm just not willing to risk Come that here, again. Come here, Kepi. No, Kepi. Just give me a sec. Come this way. Come, Kepi. I need you on my lap. Just need a, uh, just need a second to make sure I don't throw up. Kepi's so upset street. that I moved his blanket off the ottoman. Hmm. Crazy Lazy Corgi said, did you hear that Chicago is colder than Antarctica currently? Wow. one of those things that like I'm sure it's true I'm sure they have no reason to lie but you hear that and you're like ma'am that's nuts and based on how weather has been I actually believe that I'm like that seems believable it was for sure last week I remember because our really? weatherman posted like a graphic that was like temperature here temperature oh here oh my god I mean even last week it the fact, be, that, the fact that that happened again. at all yeah you know, it's like, well, we can't live in Antarctica. It's uninhabitable. Freaking Chicago! <laughs> Chicago's uninhabitable. Well, we have, like, electricity now and heating. Yeah, I know. It's just... wild. Come here, Kepi. Come here! Oh, hooray, Kepler! Hi, Hi bud. Hi. You coming? He might be. Come here. We also have... A sub from um, Zach Armor 43 Thank you, Zach. Five month sub from uh, LHMS1704. Yeah. Oh my god, five months, baby. Yeet, dabs. Greeting from Norway. Now, you have to remind me the dab. That's the thing Thomas did. Right? Where it's like... Oh my gosh. This? No, no. It's fusion. 
Yeah. Fusion. There's a dab. Huh. Is it out? This way? Yeah. Why and why is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, well, a dab right back to you in Norway. Five months from Jupy Cat. Thank you, Jupy. Three months from uh, Lissa Little Bear, earning the plus. Woohoo, finally get a plus. I adore this routine of crunch twice a week, and I'm so happy I can finally support my favorite YouTubers. Thank you to Mao, especially for her painting videos. Your explanation of shading has helped so much with my coloring. Sorry, the phone. Sorry, I'm getting a call from Scam Likely in Shira, South Carolina. No. I'm glad my videos have helped, though. Yeah, um, and actually, is it is it gonna be today? It, I, maybe. Short of something terrible happening. Yeah. Short of something terrible happening, there will be a new Mal makes video today. Not an uh, explanation video. No, it'll be a, a, a painting. painting video. Mal's been running a little behind based on some of the crazy stuff that's been happening. Um, her January painting, because she's doing a painting a month. Her January painting should be out today. And again, I know we're a little into February. But my patrons are like, it's done? I was like, yeah, I didn't post it last night because it was like 3 a.m. Yeah, I went to bed super early last night because I was not feeling good. Um, but Mouse stayed up, and she stayed up late and late and late, and she went to bed at 3. But she got everything finished up. The reason this, this painting has been so difficult for Mao is that she doesn't use a paintbrush. Mallory wanted to challenge herself by painting only with a palette knife. And she did. She doesn't use a brush once. That was and a mistake. <laughs> no, well, it's something that you really wanted to say that you did. Yeah. And she did it. I did use a cleanup brush, but I didn't use it to apply paint. Yeah, you only used it I used, used it, it to, to clean up when I accidentally like went outside of the line. Oh. So, um, it's really great. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. And um, maybe, Maybe you could show it at the end of the stream. No. No? No, I haven't even posted it to my Patreon. Oh, so they don't even see it yet. No. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Well, it should be out today. should be able to see it today. Uh, all right. Uh, Pichocho uh, resubscribes for five months. Haven't been able to catch up uh, to too many streams, sadly. What I've seen has been great. Keep up the good work, and may the crunch be with you. Thank you, Pichocho. Also, five months from Mech Mayhem. Uh, yeah, you read mine last week, but yeah, toast! Thanks, Mac. And yeah, toast. And I think I've been out eating enough toasts where the antibiotic won't explode, so I'll be alright. Uh, 500 bits from Troop Captain 97 Has there ever been a name you didn't like or can't stand hearing? Like being called personally or like just someone else's name and like that, don't, I don't like that name. I can't think of anything. There's never been a name I think I've heard that I've been like, I don't like your name. Or your name is dumb. Certainly there's been some names that are a little more interesting than others. Um, I don't know. I think like a general like good rule is to give your kid a fairly normal name um, because it will probably dictate the amount of troubles they have in their school career. Um, you know, if you have your if you give your kid a you know very unique name, they might experience bullying more easily than John. You know. So that's something to consider. But there's not, I don't know, there's never really been anything that like struck me. How about like personally being called? I can't think of anything either. Yeah. In high school there was one person that called me Steve-O. And I was like, like, it didn't bother me bother me, but I was like, don't call me Steve-O. Like, Steve-O is the guy on Jackass. And he's funny to watch, but I'm not Whoa. him and I don't want to be him. So don't call me that. Anyway, thank you for the bits, Troop Captain. Uh, JCJX uh, sends 288 bits. Uh, starting your morning with Happy Lunar New Year or Ha Piggy Lunar New Year, Zodiac Pig Year. Here's a customary red packet, uh, awning bow, but containing bits. Have a healthy and wealthy New Year, Stephen, Mal, Papa George, and Mama George. Thank you. And I think I said, did I say that right? Awning bow. I think I said that correctly. I'm not very good at <laughs> other languages. <laughs> But as long as it's written out phonetically, I can usually do okay. Thank you for the bits. Uh, three months sub from Ryan B06. Bad thing, being home for, from work sick. Good thing, being able to catch breakfast stream live. Go Pats. Yeah, uh, 
Go Pats. I mean, I, I did win. So yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm not terribly excited about the fact that the Pats just win when they're in the Super Bowl. I Nothing against that team or the city they're from or the people that live in that city. I guess it so it's, 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 well, it's New England, so it's Yeah, an area. you just want to see I just, I really want to see. The Packers. Well, what I want to see is teams that never get into the Super Bowl get into the Super Bowl. The Browns? Play. The Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns for Super Bowl 2020. Holy crap. That would be crap. amazing. That's what I want to see. Anyway, all right. Like the KC Chiefs, Chiefs versus Browns. I'd love it. Uh, 300 bits from Taco Bell Chihuahua. Uh, hey Steven, has there ever been a time where you considered talking or taking Rocco and letting him live with you, Mal, and the kitties? No, Rocco belongs strictly to my parents. Like when I left home, Rocco became their, like it, it, Rocco was our cat. And when I left home, Rocco became uh -huh. their cat. So if I, if I took Rocco away, my parents would be so sad. <laughs> so, so sad. Um, and uh, also Taco Bell Chihuahua subscribes. Thank you for the subscription. And then right at the buzzer, as I'm about to, to change course here, Purpose Entertainment resubscribes for two months. It says, hey, two months already. I've been watching the channel since, uh, the t since the 12th of November, 2011. It's a very specific date. That's a long freaking time. Keep up the great work. Also a reminder that, holy crap, we've been doing this forever. Yeah, forever. Forever. Thank you, Purpose. All right. Go back to the other screen. The other screen? Yeah. You mean OBS? Yeah. So you can see the framing? Yeah, we've dropped some frames. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, we dropped a little frames during the, the intro thing, and our stream health keeps going green, 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 yellow, green, 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 yellow, but like... Okay. I just wanted to see. Thanks, anyway. Uncle Jed. We, got it. we have to get them back out here. Yeah. Because we were having some issues like the other Saturday, and I was like, this is not okay. But I haven't called them because there's been too many other things going on in my life related to doctor stuff, which I'll talk about today. So, as an update, what was going on Tuesday? I said I needed to call the doctor. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, Tuesday, um, I was like, you know, still dizzy. Things are still bad. Uh, after the stream, I'm going to call the doctor. So, I called the doctor, um, and the way it works is you don't call the doctor. You call the hub. And there's all these different doctor's offices and they're all connected to the hub. So you call the hub and you tell them who you saw and they say, okay, here's your records. And they say, what well, do you want to tell the doctor? And I say, this is what I want to tell the doctor. So I told them, you know, I'm still not better. You know, it's a few days and I feel like at this point, the dizziness should be like gone, but I still feel like this, you know, even though I've been on the antibiotics for like three or four days. Yeah. And I said, just you know, let her know that you know maybe I need a referral to an ENT. This is possible. I had to go to an ENT before. Um, so the lady said, okay. And I called like right after breakfast stream, so it was early in the morning, so I would get a call back. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and they never called. I was like, cool. So the next day, Wednesday, I got up in the morning. I called in the morning, and I said, hey, I you know I called yesterday. Um, you know, I left this message, but I just wanted to leave another one because I, I really want to make sure I get the call back. And the lady looks at the computer and she says, oh, you have a referral to an ENT. And I'm like, okay, cool, that's cool, that. but they need to let me know that. <laughs> like, you can't just make me a referral and not tell me. And she said, yeah, we have you uh, as a referral for this one, you know, ENT office. And I was like, well, that's strange because I've already been to an ENT, I've been to this ENT. And I've been to this ENT like multiple times. And she pulled it up, she's like, we have no records of you ever going to the ENT. I'm like, okay, well, they have my records, so could you maybe see if I can get in there? And she said, okay. So I got off the phone with her, a few hours later I got a call from that ENT. They said they had an opening on Thursday. And uh, they said Thursday morning would be fine. And I was like, mm, what times? And they're like, uh, 8.15? I'm like, mm, it's not gonna work. Uh, 9.15? I'm like, not gonna work. And they're like, 10.45? And I'm like, that'll work. She said, okay. Because I have to spend time with my grandkids. That's what I'm busy doing Thursday mornings. Spending some time with my grandkids. That's why I couldn't come in to get, to get my ear looked at. Fox Extreme, ENT breakfast stream. 
you can do you can like go live on the Twitch app. Yeah. Ardon says, God, this makes me so thankful for Canadian healthcare. Well, <laughs> I, I would comment on that, but all I care about is raisins in my chest. That is, uh, that is fifteen hundred bits from Troop Captain ninety seven. Oh my God! Wow, I have, man. Man, you're right. Holy crap. True Captain said, Happy 8th birthday, Stephen Place. Oh my god, I forgot. I've never forgotten. I always do an forgot. annual video where I talk about stats and stuff. I didn't do it, because I forgot. You have too much to do. Wow. Chaz will back me up on that. Yeah, we always do a stats uh -huh. video, and I just... I, I didn't even remember because my life has been... busy. Well, first off, thanks for the reminder, um, and thank you for the bits. Dang, Stephen Place is eight years old? What? <laughs> you gonna be okay? We've done a lot of videos. Yeah. In eight years, I think there's, how many videos are on that channel? Like, I think over 5,000. Is, is it really 5,000? It can't be that many. That doesn't make sense. I feel like I saw that written somewhere, but that seems like too many. But maybe it's not. If you release a, if you release a video every day, that's at least 360 a, a year. So eight years of that is 24 plus the six. It's like, is that like 3,000? It's, um, yeah, it's like 3,000. And then you're releasing memorable moments. Existential Joker says 5,452. I was right. It's 5,500 videos. Oh my god. Well... <laughs> if you need something to watch, I hope we've got you covered. In eight years, we've made 5,500 videos. On Steven Place. Steven Vlog, in that eight years, we've released another several thousand videos. We might be, um... We might be getting close to... 10,000, pretty close. On our way, within the next like year or two, yeah. probably. Huh, anyway. <laughs> also got a two month resub from um, the Hero of Chaos. I've been watching your videos since Assassin's Creed 1. I finally got the chance to subscribe on Twitch again. Cool, thank you for subscribing. Assassin's Creed 1 is a misunderstood game. It's mm -hmm. before it really fell into the groove, but it's a great game. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed doing that series. Uh, and then Jason Jennings, 24, for four months. Happy to be, uh, be a part of this. You guys have done an amazing job. And just a shout out to Ariel, who turns 11 tomorrow. Happy birthday. And then Jade, a little later this month. Get well soon. Thank you, Jay. Happy birthday, Ariel, and also Jade. I'm so glad that you guys can, can join us this morning. Um, I know they watch before work and school. Yeah. Which, I'm glad that there's a thing that can exist. You know, that people can watch in the mornings like this. I mean, there's, like, the the news and like the Today Show. And whatever that show is with Ryan Seacrest and the other girl. I don't think either of them are on it anymore. Oh. I think it's like Kelly Pickler and someone else. I just remember watching it and being like, this is terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> like, I could do a better job and I would just like eat bread. And, and then I did. that's what you're doing. So I'll show Ryan Seacrest, I'll eat bread on the internet. Take that. And then I did. It was fine. Anyway. But oh, yeah. Oh, they're still doing it? Kelly and Ryan? Okay. I saw something when we were out yesterday, and I thought, oh, this must be the new thing. Because it was like Kelly Pickler and someone. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. 300 bits from Taco Bell Chihuahua. Hey Steven, is there any chance that you'll ever let's play older games like Luigi's Mansion, Sunshine, GTA 3, etc.? I mean, we do, um, we do older games pretty often. Um, Sunshine is happening. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Like, this year, maybe. Yeah. Depends on, like, what exactly happened. We probably won't play GTA 3. Is that top-down? 
No, it can be, actually. You can play it top down. Um, it hasn't aged well. Jazz says, older games like Sunshine. Now I feel very old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we played like Outlaws, which is, um, Outlaws is 97. It just feels older because it looks dated. But yeah, we, older games are, uh, we, we do whatever. We're not, we're definitely not a, we only play new games channel. Uh, anyone that's been subscribed for a while will definitely attest to that. We do, we just do whatever we want. It works out okay. Um, but yeah, uh, the healthcare thing, uh, these are the situations that, you know, come up and you're like, uh, because I had to go to the doctor and I wanted to go to the ENT from the beginning and they wouldn't let me. I had to get a referral. So I've had to pay, I had to pay a doctor you unnecessarily. You pay and the bill. Unnecessarily, because I didn't even want to go to the doctor in the begin with. I wanted to go to the ENT. The ENT wouldn't let me. Yeah. Even though I had been there before, so I had to I had to go to this doctor and I paid this doctor. Who was like, yeah, it's an ear infection. And sure enough, you know, like I go to the doctor and now I'm gonna have to go to another doctor because things still aren't right. And I'm like, oh my god. And so you're I've going already to paid a this doctor. So it's more. Yeah, and the I mean that would, is more. And that would be an advantage of skipping the ENT and just doing the the normal doctor. Yeah. But the last time this happened. I, it, that's why I went to the ENT in the first place, is because the doctor couldn't fix it. Yeah. So now I've paid the doctor, now I'm gonna have to go to the ENT. And pay the ENT, hopefully they can get it wrapped up in one session. If I have to go back, yeah. it'll be more money. Hopefully you don't get appendicitis again. I mean, if I get appendicitis again, I have some questions. Because someone's cut me open in the middle of the night and put a new appendix in me. Which is very polite, but I don't appreciate it. Just saying. You could get, um... Your gallbladder removed? Mm-hmm. So get that, that happened again. Why did I get the butt shot? Uh... Was that my ear? No, that was... You were cold. It was a cold. It was a really bad cold that we both mm. had. And we you were, sure? like, flying soon, and you needed to be better. Okay, well... All right. Uh, I only like vaguely remember. Oh, it was when we were going to LA. Oh yeah. We we're going on the cruise, I think. That feels like one thousand years ago. <laughs> butt drugs. Yeah, you can't get butt drugs too often. No. Just because uh, it's not good for you. Like it's uh, there's something about getting steroids that ruins your bones or something. I don't, there's a reason. There's a reason. Otherwise, everyone just get butt drugs all the time. Everyone would just have a pack of the butt drugs delivered and they'd just start the morning with a butt drug. Because you're like going a million miles an hour. But it like breaks down some bones. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Uh, I got 100 bits from Ardon17. Another milestone. Happy 160k to Steven Plays. Oh, cool. Thank you, Ardon. Hitting, hitting all sorts of random numbers and then occasionally sliding a little bit. <laughs> It's interesting that I said 160k and then 1600 bits come through. That's 1600 bits from the real Mimp, who says, I haven't got the stream live since the new 16 alert was made. It only feels right to use it since I made you play that godforsaken game. So it's you. <laughs> You're the one I have to blame. Thank you, real Mimp. Um, actually, uh, we. This is the dumbest thing. I, I, I can't guarantee that we are going to play it again, but there is a, Again, I can't talk about this stupid event. There's an event happening at some point in the future, say that, and we were discussing um, party games for it. And like Mario Party was an obvious one, but we were maybe yeah. discussing doing some, some party games that like aren't good. <laughs> like really weird ones, and that was one that I brought up. It's like, this is a game that exists. It is a, it is a party board game that's... Uh, Questionable. It's so very questionable. I brought it up. We'll see. I don't know if it'll get played in this unknown event. 500 bits from uh, Calix, who says, uh, "Here are 500 ad bits. Thank you for making my mornings before college class good." Well, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to give people something to look forward to in the mornings because usually there is not much. <laughs> so glad that I could do that. 
Also 200 bits from Taco Bell Chihuahua. I recently finished watching your Pikmin 2 Let's Play. I can't wait for you to Let's Play Pikmin 3. You and Matt will enjoy it much more. That's what I've heard. I've heard that yeah. Pikmin 2 is um, hard. And Pikmin 3 is much more enjoyable. So I'm looking forward to actually doing it. That could be this year. We'll just... We don't have like a real plan. We just have a list of games. And it's like, however much we're feeling, that's what we do. Can't be looped to my hand. Are you blessed? It scared me. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't know he was going to. I also have subscriptions from uh, Ease Operator and a five month sub from Jillian. Watching these streams gives me a reason to get up early. I have an alarm on my phone titled Crunch because I don't want to miss the streams. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Jillian. And uh, shout out to anyone who wakes up early specifically for the stream. Um, Apparently John talked polite. about it last night on a stream. Speaking of stream, there's a lot of Fs. <laughs> it's because the current, the current stream rate is uh, zero. I think the stream is actually down. Oh, oh it, well, it just jumped up to 12,000 and 4,000 and 6,000. So I think it's coming back to life. Someone says we're back. Oh, see, this will be fun. When you watch the VOD, you'll actually get to see Mal and I said. Oh, the stream's down. We, uh, we got to say, ooh, the stream's down and no one caught it on Twitch. That's, that, that's why <laughs> the YouTube experience can sometimes be so great as you get to hear words like, I think the stream's down. Riveting entertainment. All right, now that the stream's back up. Beep, boop, pop, pop. Look at this campy. I'm on the Patreon ticker, and this is the updated one. I meant to run, I meant to have an updated one on the other day, Tuesday, because yeah. it was February. I didn't have it. This is the updated one. I did it. So, patreoncom George or Mailmakes. We appreciate your support, no matter where you choose to give it, and um, we are continuing to use that support to make things better by filling our living room with production equipment. More C-stands. A C-stand no. for every C-stand. No. We Little don't. tiny C-stands on the end of C-stands. No, we don't need more C-stands. Five more C-stands. Hi, KP. So. Yes, I gotta call Uncle Jed. You gotta call Uncle God, Jed. Uncle Jed. Uncle Jed. Yeah. Not my real uncle, by the way. The name of the... Uncle Jed is our ISP. It's not called that either. No. We call it that because it's bad. It's not even that bad. But it has issues that make me mad. And there's no way... There's no way to deal with it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So after this... Um, after the stream ends, I'm gonna get ready and then go to um, the doctor. Yes. For my 10:45 appointment, so I have a little time actually, but it's 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 not the closest thing. It's about half an hour away, so if we leave by like 10, we'll be good. Get a load of this bean. No, oh, he's probably not on camera because he's. His foot might be. <laughs> That's what the people. I want can't to see. see you moved off OBS. You want me to go back? No, he put his foot down. So you can see his foot? He put his foot down, it's fine. I did it, I went back. So well, the Patreon ticker's still there, it's probably... No, they can't see it because the ticker's in the way. Oh, yeah. William Tell Overture, no. Not happy enough. Something happier. That's what I want to hear. I'm trying to make sure I eat. Yeah. He put his foot down. Let's let's try him. Well, you can see his ear. No, he does not want me to put his foot back up. Yippee. Breakfast stream where we lift cats into the air. Good morning. I Hi. mean, there is there is a joy in cats. <laughs> it's like a it's like Look a nougat. Look at these beans. <laughs> Get a load of your beans. He's like, okay, thanks. Let me go. <laughs> Lays back down. Back to bath time. What we'll have to do one oh. morning is we'll have to move the camera like really far back. Yeah. So people get like cat cam. <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage. That's what, in fact, check it out. What? I'm just gonna play with everyone's 
minds right oh, now. No. Oh no. Well, the stream's almost over anyway, so this is this is a great time. You're scaring Sig. Don't make him leave. Hi, Sig. As I almost spilled a coffee. Hi. You gonna lay with me? Oh, Kepi's there. You are not happy. No, Sagan. Sagan. Perfect. Let me refocus this. Hi, Sag. Okay. Hi. Wait, no, Steven's coming back. You're fine. Come back, buddy. Come here. There you go. <laughs> I kind of prefer this. I mean, I, I feel like we're really far away. Yeah. Um, this is not this is not the framing <laughs> they told me to do in, in college. But yeah, it's I mean the advantage is you get you get key cats. They're good boys. Look at Sagan. Clearly what we need to do is we need to have Look at his little paws. Oh. We need to have a second camera here that yeah. points this way yeah. to show what's going on with the kitties. Cat cam. Cat cam. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with little cat cam. Anyway, um, what a grumpy he looks. He always looks grumpy, but he's he's a really happy boy. And sometimes he looks legit happy. Yeah, like sometimes he looks like he smiles. The song should be playing like when they're running around. Like last night, you were asleep. They were running through the studio and I thought they were gonna get paint on them. Something was <laughs> not good. He's such a sweet animal. He's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good kid. You love attention is what you that's uh -huh. what you love. Good cat. Anyway. <laughs> uh I think I think that's probably about it. Let me double check here. And uh then we will head on out. Yeah. Alright. Okay folks. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here as we wind down on XS Express. Drum and a tantrum, by the way, great, great band. Um actually uh one of the members of the band is the brother of one of our uh, mods, mm -hmm. uh, Rachel Demoose. I don't. I, I don't know see if that's. I don't know today. She might not be here today. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I also don't know if that's. Is that exactly what she uses as her username? Might be slightly different. Anyway, it's a it, great band. Very, very much enjoy. A plus, thumbs up. Um, okay, uh, that's gonna be it then. Oh, I don't need this for this. I need this. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday. Uh, wish me luck at the doctor. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get some good answers. And then, um, if you haven't seen, I released three vlogs yesterday. Very late. Very, very late. But um, I get them out and then I went to bed. <laughs> I was like, alright, here. Uh, and they're they're all pretty fantastic, so check them out when you get a chance. And uh, with any luck, I'll, I'll be trying to get more out today. And finally get caught up. The, the Emil Massé vlogs are kind of a, a big hurdle because yeah. they're a little more difficult than the other ones, but um, they're fun. They're fun. All right, folks. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. We will see you on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern for more Breakfast Stream. <laughs>